This is Pastor Dorothy L. Bell of Woman to Woman. We are experiencing a wonderful move of God in this ministry, truth that transforms. We are so excited about what God is doing for us and how we're helping many, many people. So today I want you to sit back and take in the word that God has given me to give to you. Today our topic is opposition. Yes, opposition. Are we living in a time where people are opposing everything that's good and doing everything that's wrong? Yes, opposition. Opposition is the resistance and hostility of oppressing and opposing you and I. Don't let anyone when I say anyone, I mean anyone. Keep you from doing what God has called you to do and assigned you to do. He's giving you the tools. He's giving you the wherewith to do it. He's giving you the Holy Spirit and the anointing and the ability to do it. So do it. So opposition. How many times have you been opposed to doing something that God has called you to do? Even from our family members. Even from our brethren and sisters who... But whatever reason it is, always has something to say. But I've learned that if you don't have nothing good to say, don't say anything. You don't know what God has given somebody to do. So just learn how to be quiet and pray. You don't always have to agree with what's going on. But you don't always have to oppose anything either. So where did I get opposition from? I went into the book of Nehemiah. And my, 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 if he wasn't opposed to everything that he was doing, his enemies opposed him with every breath that they had. But guess what? His enemies didn't win. So when you get an opportunity, I want you to read the book of Nehemiah, especially from chapter 4 to chapter 7. It tells you about all the things that went on in his life. Now, Nehemiah was a cupbearer to the king's Xerxes, and he had to do everything to make sure that nothing was going wrong, the food that he ate, the things that he did. He made sure that the king was not opposed with evil by testing it out himself. So sometimes in our world today, we have to do the same thing. We have to make sure that the people that are around us of the people that God has chosen. As, as leaders, we really have to be careful who's in our camp because people will say they're with you and all the time they're against you. So know who your enemy is. In spite of opposition, Nehemiah rebuilt the wall of Jerusalem in 52 days. Think about that. 52 days. They said he couldn't do it. Everything came against him. You know, even in ministry today, things come against us. You got your diggings, you got the whatever. If they can't get it their way, they are going to oppose you. But I'm here to tell you this day that if God told you to do it, you better do it. Don't let nothing get in your way. Do not compromise. Always do what God has called you to do. Now, Nehemiah demonstrated courage. He demonstrated compassion. And he demonstrate kindness and integrity and mercy. He did all those things. He led by example. Are you a leader who's leading by example? Or do you walk with integrity? Do you have compassion? Do you have courage? You know, woman to woman ministry is a ministry that builds confidence and character for daily living. So that's what I want you. Don't let anyone who oppose the work that God has given you to do cause you to give up and think. That's not what God wants you to do. And if you don't remember anything else I say today about opposition, remember that your right attitude, your right action will always bring about the right results. Now I'll say that again. Your right attitude the right actions will always bring about the right results if you're doing something with God and something for God and your motive is right. 
always remember that no matter who opposes you, if God be for you, who can be against you? So, our enemies is always going to try to <laughs> stop you and act like they want to help you. But you better know, like I said, who's laboring with you. You got to know your enemies. God said he would not allow our enemies to, to what? Have dominion over us. Really, that's what he's saying. They can't do anything. He said, if they come in one way, I will smite them and cause them to flee several different ways. So know that God's got our enemies. Our enemies are not there to help us, but they're secretly there to oppose us and to stop us from doing what God has called us to do. And I want to tell you today, don't accept their help. If you have a spirit and the gift of discerning the spirit, you'll know who's for you and who's not. So don't accept help from people you know that don't mean you any good. Well, that's foolishness. You know, that's not being, uh, how can I say, that's not using wisdom that God has given you to do that. So don't let anyone oppose you from doing what you're supposed to do or hinder you from doing what you're supposed to do. Don't let people frustrate you and cause you, you know, to miss out on your blessing. You know, it might be delayed, but God said for you to do it. And it's going to get done. So don't let people frustrate the purpose of God in your life. You hold fast. Stand fast. Do what God has called you to do. Don't you dare compromise. You know, people who oppose you, who's in opposition against you, they'll make false accusations against you. La, 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 la. Some people fall for the old people. Some people fall for the lie. But if you know within your heart that you're doing everything with integrity, that you're doing everything in the truth, that you're doing what God has called you to do, you're not going to let that bother you. You're not going to come down off of your assignment. You're not going to let lies, false accusations, slander, none of those things keep you from doing the will of God. You know, it may delay you, but God's plan is going to always always be carried out so remember everything <laughs> that tried to stop nehemiah from building that wall he did not come down until he finished doing what he was supposed to do now just check this out as i really this is a short lesson because opposition is long 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 but i don't have the time to really go into what I really would like to do. That's why I want you to read Nehemiah chapter 4 and 7 and see all the things that came against him. Everything that came against him is coming against us today. But we got to know not to come down from that wall. We can't let nobody, nobody stop us from doing the will of the Father. Now Nehemiah, Jerusalem, Jerusalem was reconstructed. The covenant was renewed. And the people was reformed. Mm -hmm. That's because he didn't let the lies, the slander, all the things that people said about him stop him from doing the will of the Father. And today I want to remind you to always trust God because he will, he will cause your enemies to be at peace with you. Did you know that? God can cause your enemies to be at peace with you. They don't even know why they're at peace. But it's God, especially if you walking with integrity and walking in the will and the obedience of the Lord God. The principles that stand out in the book of Nehemiah should be the same principles we adopt in our lives today. And that is, compassion is often the springboard of obedience to God's word. Cooperation is another requirement to carry out God's will. And confidence from fervent prayers and knowing the word of God will always give you what you need and God will always be blessed and the manifestation of the work that he's given you will always be done.
pausing now for a station break. Welcome back to the broadcast. This is Pastor Dorothy L. Bell. Today, we're going to talk about our daily diamond, the gem of inspiration. And the gem today is to reach. Yes, reach. Are you reaching for the things of God? Or are you reaching for the things of the world? You must extend and stretch yourself so that the Holy Spirit can lead you. You got to be strong and courageous to set your heart, your mind, and your soul to seek God. So if you seek God first, he said he will be with you. We need to reach other people. That's why God uses people to reach other people. So today, let the, that daily gem, that diamond of inspiration, be to reach the lost at any cost. And once you do that, you really can be dedicated to God. You can be directed by God, and you can be diligent for God, and you can be delighted in God, and you can always, always be that example that people see Christ in you as you're reaching those who are lost to let them know that you are doing your very best for the Lord our God. Thank you for coming back with me. And uh, as we conclude our topic on opposition, know that no matter what you do, wherever you go, people are going to always oppose. They're not going to always like what you say, like what you do. But it doesn't matter. If God told you to do it, you better do it. You better demonstrate compassion, cooperation, integrity, uh, kindness, all of the fruit of the Spirit. You must do that because without it, I'm telling you, you might feel like giving up and coming down off the wall. But I admonish you, don't come down off the wall till the work is done. This is Pastor Dorothy L. Bell. Sin, be dedicated to God, be directed by God, be delighted in God, and be diligent for God. And if you do those things, you will definitely not come down off the wall. You won't care who's opposing what God told you to do. You're going to do what he said, and you're going to do it with the right attitude, with the right motive, and you're going to get the right results. Please write me, please, and let me know if this broadcast is being a blessing to you. You may send donations to PayPal through one woman, the number two woman at gmail.com. Any amount is very appreciative. Once again, as you pray for me and I pray for you, make sure that you never let anyone take you off of what God has called you to do. Thank you.